Good morning, it's 825. Thanks for watching. I'm Brittany Dobbins. The ACLU of Iowa will be in court for a hearing. The organization is looking for a preliminary injunction on the law that allows banning of certain books and discussion of LGBTQ topics in people in public schools. The law went into effect at the beginning of the school year. Districts will begin to face consequences for not following the law after the first of the year. And from your election headquarters this morning, entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy campaigned in the Quad Cities area last night after a few other stops in Iowa earlier yesterday. Dozens of people showed up to hear his ideas for the presidency at the world's largest truck stop in Walcott. Congresswoman Marionette Miller-Meeks introduced him. Ramaswamy brought up issues important to, drug, to truck drivers and stressed the importance to the, to the economy. We don't have a trucker shortage, as we're taught to believe. What we really have is a retention problem. And what we have right now, especially post-COVID, is an environment where in that short window where there was a short demand, a lot of people were able to get a truck, use debt potentially to do it. But now we're burned on the opposite side when we have a glut of supply, but a lot slower times in business. That's going to leave this country hurting on the back end. Ramaswamy ended his night in Davenport with a rally at the La Quinta Conference Center. A ranking from the Wall Street Journal puts Augustana College as the ninth best liberal arts school in the Midwest. The ranking considers how much each school boosts student outcomes beyond expectations. Augustana's president credits the facilities across campus for student achievement. I think this really um, recognizes the incredible work of our faculty and staff, um, our focus on engaged education and making sure that not only our um, students learning all those values, we, we really connect with liberal arts like critical thinking and problem solving, but then they're also thinking about how you apply them in the world. Augustana also earned recognition for best undergraduate teaching, being among the best value schools and top performers in social mobility by U.S. News & World Report. A blood drive at Bettendorf High School yesterday paid tribute to a graduate who died from cancer. Give Like Charlie honors Charlie Erpelding. She died in October last year, close to her 19th birthday. She received several blood and platelet transfusions during her treatment. The blood drive brings attention to the need for these specific donations while remembering her. Organizers hit their goal for the year with all of the scheduled appointments. And that's a look at your local news. Now here's Deanna with your local pinpoint forecast. Rain has officially taken over the entire viewing area, and we're already seeing that from our Quad Cities Kim here in Bettendorf. You can see that rain coming down all over the, the raindrops on those cam lenses. So again, expect today to be a pretty rainy day ahead of us. So definitely be careful as you're out the door driving. Slippery roads could happen, and as well as the possibility for some fog throughout our day today. Here's a look at that system that we've been tracking down all morning long, and again, it's already moved through the area, and it's going to be pretty consistent here throughout our day. It's going to be pretty slow, which is why we're going to hold on to these rainy conditions here throughout most of our day today. So plenty of rain here for today and even for the holiday weekend. Today, those temperatures are going to be pretty steady in those mid to upper 40s, and then highs will be back in those mid to upper 50s as we get into tomorrow, our Christmas Eve, and on our Christmas. So a gloomy holiday weekend here ahead of us. Again, not a lot of sunshine, no snow. We're going to be holding on to pretty mild temperatures and plenty of rain for our Christmas Eve and on our Christmas. Temperatures the next six hours as you're out the door. Again, we are going to be pretty steady in those 40s and we'll expect a really, a really rainy day ahead of us. All right. Thanks, Deanna. And thanks for watching. For news anytime, anywhere, just go to ourquadcities.com.